Hello friends, welcome back to Never TGK. And today in this video, I'll discuss about Padma Awards. Uh, I'll discuss details about Padma Awards and also specifically the Padma Awards awardees from the state of Assam for the year 2021. So moving forward, let's try to understand some facts about Padma Awards. First of all, the Padma Awards are announced annually on which day? That is on Republic Day, 26 January. It is announced annually on which day? That is important point we need to remember. That is on Republic Day on 26 January. And it was instituted in which year? It was instituted in 1954. It is one of the highest civilian honors of India. One of the highest civilian honors. The art. There are three Padma Awards. I'll discuss in, the, in later in this video that Padma Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and Padma Bhushan, these three are the Padma Awards and it is uh, one of the highest civilian honors given to the Indian and for their contribution in different respective fields and it is a higher category of Padma Award can be conferred on a person only when a period of at least five years has elapsed since the conferment of the earlier Padma Award. So a person can be awarded Padma Awards that is Padma Sri, Padma Sri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. So this three award can be conferred to a person, but there must be a gap of at least how many years? There must be a gap of at least five years. So when a person is awarded Padma Sri, then he can also be conferred or awarded another. Padma what it is Padma Bhushan or Padma Bhushan and there should be a gap of at least minimum of five years. So uh, these are the three points that we have learned at this moment. First of all, it was announced on Republic Day, it is 26 January. It was instituted in which year? It was instituted in 1954 and Padma Awards can be given to a person's Padma Awards can be given to a person but the period of a Padma awards that should be at least five years of minimum of game. So these are the a few points about Padma awards and let's learn about its objective. So it seeks to recognize achievements of in all fields of activities or disciplines where an element of public service is involved. So the most important thing what we need to understand is that the contributions of a person of a particular person should involve an element of public service then and then and the he or she can be conferred for a Padma Awards. So moving so moving forward let's learn about the categories of Padma Awards. There are three categories that is one is Padma Bhushan for exceptional and distinguished services. Secondly Padma Bhushan that is distinguished service of higher order and thirdly that is Padma Sri. So among these three the Padma Bhushan is the highest Padma Award or high civilian award. So, and Padma Bhushan is the here I have already mentioned that Padma Bhushan the highest hierarchy of Padma awards followed by Padma Bhushan and Padma Sri. So, among these three Padma awards, Padma Bhushan is the highest civilian award and followed by Padma Bhushan and the lastly that is Padma Sri awards. So, here what we need to understand is that Padma awards are given in three categories one is Padma Bhushan. Secondly, the Padma Bhushan and thirdly, the Padma Sri Awards. So, there are some disciplines here I have mentioned or included for which the Padma Awards are given. It includes like art, social work, public affairs, science and engineering, trade and industry, medicine, literature, education, sport, civil services, and also journalism, etc., are also included in the discipline for which the awards are being conferred or given to a particular individual. So as far as the selection process is concerned, there is a committee called Padma Awards Committee and the awards are conferred on the recommendation made by the Padma Awards Committee. All the three categories of Padma Awards are being recommended by whom? Recommended by the Padma Awards Committee and it was constituted by the Prime Minister that is every year, Prime Minister of India. So this needs to be understood that Padma Awards Committee conferred or recommend the Padma Awards and which was constituted by whom? Constituted by the Prime Minister of India. 
that is every year and awards the the awards are being awarded by whom by the president of india the awards are presented by the president of india usually in the month of march or april every year so these are the process of selections to be conferred or to be to be selected for the padma awards that you need to remember so moving forward these are the medals these are as medals given to the padma awardees that one first one is the padma bibhushan secondly the padma bhushan and the thirdly that is padma shri so in the awards of the medal a centrally located lotus flower is embossed and the text padma is written in devanagari script is placed above the text so here you can see the example the padma padma is written above the above the that is lotus flower centrally located lotus flower and also the shri bhushan and bibhushan shri bhushan and bibhushans are being placed below the below the lotus flower that is centrally located lotus flower you can see here shri bhushan and bibhushan these are being placed below the centrally located lotus flower you can see in the picture so on the reverse of the medal and platinum state emblem of indian places indian place in the center with the national motto of india that is satyamaya jayate so alone to him in devanagari script so uh, in the reverse of the medal and that is what's written in the central part of the medal that is national motto of india that is satyamaya jayate so alone to him in which script that is devanagari script so here comes one important point to remember that in the medal in the medal of padma awards what script is used that is devanagari script written in devanagari script so these are the three awards padma award that is one is padma bhushan padma bhushan thirdly is the padma shri award that we need to remember so moving forward the padma shri award is from the state of assam for year 2021 there are there are eight awardees which are conferred with the home which is conferred with Padma Shri award from the state of some they are they are mrs lakshmi borwa you can see in the uh, in the screen here gopinath borgia pura bhakat that is Bija chakravati and sri mangal singh hajwari dulal manki mrs birbola rabha birbola rabha sri roman sharma and sri imran sa so these are the eight personalities these are or they are the eight personalities who are conferred with whom we are conferred with Padma Shri Award from the state of Assam for the year 2021. In the later session of my video, I'll discuss details about them and in which field they are associated with and for which they are uh, they are being conferred for the Padma Shri Awards. So, as we have come to know that there are eight awardees which has conferred with Padma Shri Award and as far as Padma Bhushan is concerned from the state of Assam 2021 that is given to whom? That is given to the former Chief Minister of Assam that is Torun Gogoi. So he was given posthumously and he was the 13th Chief Minister of Assam and held office between 2001 to 2016 and on his behalf his wife Dolly Gogoi received the award in uh, in the Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi. So these are a few points about Tarun Gogoi, and he has been or he was awarded with Padma Bhushan posthumously, and on his behalf, his wife Dolly Gogoi received the award. So there is only one Padma Bhushan award from the state of Assam for the year 2021, and he is or he was none other than the former Chief Minister of Assam, that is Tarun Gogoi. That we need to remember. So moving forward, we have Padma Shri awardees from the state of Assam. Firstly, Dulal Manki. So he is a professional singer. He is a professional singer and a musician for the three tribes of Assam, and he is known as the Jumur Samrat of Assam. So Jumur dance or Jumur Geet is a uh, is a uh, folk music or folk songs for the three tribe of Assam and the Dulal Manki, Dulal Manki is known as the Samrad, Jumer Samrad of the state of Assam, and he is being awarded with what? With Padma Shri awards. 
सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव मिसेस लक्ष्मी बोरवा और लखीमी बोरवा सो लखीमी बोरवा इज एन इंडियन बैंकर सोशल वर्कर एंड ए फाउंडर ऑफ असम फर्स्ट वोमेन रन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक दैट इज कनकलता महिला अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक व्हिच वाज फाउंडेड इन द ईयर 1998 इन व्हिच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ सम इट इज इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जोरहाट फॉर वोमेन सो ही इज एसोसिएटेड विद हू और सी इज एसोसिएटेड विद व्हाट फील सी इज एसोसिएटेड विद एसोसिएटेड विद द सोशल सर्विस ही इज एसोसिएटेड सोशल सर्विस एंड स्पेशली ही और सी इज नोन एज द इंडियन बैंकर दैट इज सोशल वर्कर एंड Uh, the founder of the Assam First Women Run Cooperative Bank that is Kanaglata Mahila Urban Cooperative Bank and it was founded in which year? It was founded in 1998 that we need to remember in which district of Assam in the Jorhat district of Assam. So she was awarded Padma Sri for which for, a, for her contribution and efforts to financially empower women of Assam. So this is a very important point that we need to remember for the exam. Uh, point of view that Lux Lakini Borwa, Mrs. Lakini Borwa is conferred Padmas Award for his contribution, that is for a contributions on effort to empower the women of Assam financially. And he has uh, or she has some other important award that is Devi Devi Ahilia Bal Holkar Award in the year 2015 and also Jindal Award that is 2019. That is what we need to understand and remember. Moving forward, we have Sri Gopiram Borgia Bura Bhakat. He is also awarded with Padma Sri, and he is a veteran Assamese folk musician from the district of Majuli. And Majuli is also known as the largest river island in India. And he is known for grooming the Satriya traditional music for how many years? For over seven decades. That what we need to understand. That is Gopiram was or Gopiram is associated with him, associated with veteran Assamese folk music uh, from the district of Majuli. So next we have Mangal Singh Hajwari. Mangal Singh Hajwari is an Indian Bodo language poet, an Indian Bodo language poet, and he is also a recipient of Sahitya Academy Award. In the year 2025, for his poetry that is Juni Mauthang Bisambi R R S in the year 2025. So he is awarded with Padma Sri for his contributions to literature and education. So Mangal Singh Hajwari is associated with which field that is literature and education. It is also an another important aspect that we need to. Understand, and he is also a recipient of Saitya Academy Award in this year, in the year 2025. Next, we have Mrs. Juru Bala Rabha, Mrs. Juru Bala Rabha, and let's try to understand some facts about her. Juru Bala Rabha is an Indian activist who campaigned against witchcraft and witch hunting in Bolpara district of Assam, India. She runs an organization called Mission Juru Bala. She runs an organization called Mission Borobala, which spreads awareness against witch hunting. So, witch hunting is an another superstitious or uh, social evil still prevalent in different state of India, and Assam is one of them. And Mrs. Borobala Rabha is fighting against the superstitions or the social evil called witchcraft and witch hunting in the Gwalpara district of Assam. And he also run a mission which is known as what? Which is known as Mission Birubala in order to spread awareness against the witch hunting that we need to remember or understand. She was instrumental in the Assam government passing the Prevention of and Protection from Witch Hunting Act that is 2015. Padma Sri awarded in 2021. to her because of which because of which contribution because of her contribution to the social work especially with respect to the campaign against witchcraft and witch hunting that we need to remember and recently jenaba west women world summit foundation that is wwsf also awarded her for her creativity and courage to change lives in the rural rural area of assam 
It is also an in-modern spec that comes out out of the discussion that Mrs. Durubala Rabha is awarded with Padma Sri for his contribution for her contributions to social work, especially for her campaign against witchcraft and with something that we need to remember. So next we have Sri Raman Sarma. Raman Sarma is awarded for his field for the field of literature and education. He is a literature poet, freelance journalist and a dramatist. He is the editor of the 90 years old magazine that is Bordeaux Sila. So it is an important point that comes out, out of the discussion that name the editor of the magazine Bordeaux Sila. If this question is asked, the answer should be Sri Raman Sarma. And he is also a liter literature associated with literature. He is a poet, he is a freelance journalist journalist and also a dramatist. These are the few aspects that our field that Sri Raman Sarma is associated with. So moving forward, next we have Mrs. Vijaya Chakrabati. Mrs. Vijaya Chakrabati has been awarded for her social service. So he is also she is also one of the award that is Padma Sri Award from the state of Assam and especially or basically she is related with or she is associated with politics. She is associated with politics. Firstly, he joined Janata, Janata Party. Then he was, uh, she is also associated with ADP, Assam, Assam, Ghana, Parishad. Then next, he is also associated with BJP. He is also associated with BJP and the former MP, former MP from the state of Assam. And he, she also represented AZP also and present he is serving BJP. Uh, she is serving BJP. So Bija Chakrabati is also awarded for his social work that is social service towards the people of Assam and mainly she is associated in politics and associated with several parties that is another party, AZP and BJP. So moving forward next we have Imran Sa. He is very popular, Imran Sa, especially in the field of literature, and also known as Nawab Imran Sa. He has another name that is known with that is Nawab Imran Sa, and he is an Indian Assamic language writer, poet, novelist, and a scholar. He also writes under a pen names called Ishan Datta, Anamika Borua, Kumbhakarna, and Animes Borua. And he is awarded with Padma Sri. That is in the year 2000, that is this year 2021 for which for his contribution to literature and education. That's a very important point that you need to remember. And he has some other honors and awarded. Uh, he received Assam Delhi Literary Award that is 2009 and also Asian Pure Bota by the government of Assam. And also he was the president of Assam Sector Sabha for the year. That is 2013. So these are the few points that I have highlighted about Imran Sa that we need to understand or we need to remember. So let's look have or let's have the summary in brief. First one, Mrs. Vijay Chakravati is related with public affairs, that is in politics, and Mrs. Lakini Borwa uh, is awarded for her social work, and Sri Gopiram Borgaya Borabhokar associated with folk or folk music that is in the district of Marjali. Sri Dular Manki, Dulal Manki associated with art or music, especially uh, especially the Jhumur music and uh, Mrs. Birubala Rabha associated with social work, especially associated with campaign against witchcraft and with something that we have discussed. Raman Sarma associated with literature, education and journalism and Mrs. Mangal Singh Hajwari and uh, associated with literature and education and for this field and he is, he is awarded with Padma Shri and Sri Imran Sa. Uh, he is awarded with Padma Shri for her contribution towards literature and education. So these are important fields that the awardees are associated and we need to remember and understand for our exam purpose. So after the end of the discussion, let's take some questions and try to solve them. First question. In which day does the Padma Awards announce that we have discussed that is on Republic Day, that annually 26 January. 
26 January that I have discussed or we have discussed in the beginning of the session. Second question, when was the Padma Awards instituted? That is 1954. That is we need to understand. And name the highest civilian award among the three Padma Awards that we have discussed before the beginning or in the beginning of the session. That is Padma Bhushan. That we need to remember. Fourth question, who is the head of the Padma Awards Committee? That is Prime Minister of India. And fifth question, name the script used in the Padma Awards Medal. That is Devanagari script. So these are the five questions. So moving forward, let's take some other questions. Number question number six. Birubala Rabha is awarded Padma Sri for which campaign in 2021? That is campaign against witchcraft and witch hunting. So it is very important questions. So six, uh, seven questions. Name the editor of Borrow Sila. And then the correct answer is Sri Raman Sarma. So question number eight. That is Juni. Mawatang Bisambi R. Arjors is authored by whom? Authored by Mangal Singh Hajwari. And for this, uh, for this poetry, he was uh, awarded Sahitya Academy Award. So, next nine question Who is associated with Kandaklata Mahila Urban Cooperative Bank in Jorhat? That is Lakshmi Borova. So, uh, she was awarded Padma Sri. We have discussed already uh, for her contribution towards empowering women, especially with respect to finance. Next, uh, the 10 question, let's take the 10 question. Who is known as the Jumur Samrat of Assam? That is none other than Bilal Manki. He is associated with, uh, associated with music, especially the, especially for the key tribe of Assam. So these are the few questions I have highlighted in this video, which may be very, very useful for the upcoming examinations. So thank you for watching. I hope you like the sessions and if you like the session or if you like my effort, please don't forget to subscribe Never Thank you.